lovelies! It is September and I am about to change over our summer bookshelves over to our autumn bookshelves and I thought I would film it so I can show you what books we've got for autumn and yeah, let's get started! So this is our pile of autumn books. And I'm gonna leave them out now. I've kept a couple of the books still on the shelves. Um, one of them is I Am the Seed That Grew the Tree, and that's a really nice poetry book that goes through the whole year. And then the other one is Up and Down in the Garden. Again, this is a seasonal book, so it goes through the entire seasons. There's even winter in it. So I'm gonna keep that one. I also think that I'm gonna keep B, because um, that kind of ties in nicely with some of the things that we wanted to do with stories and things like that in September. So I'm going to keep this for September. So these are the new books that we're going to be putting out. We've got Autumn by Shirley Hughes. I love these little collections of books. There's lovely poems um, and great illustrations. Autumn Story by Jill Barclum. And these are the Brambley Hedge books. I really love these. The illustrations are so cute. Got the Hedgehog Feast by Edith Holden and this is a lovely little book. It's quite like, a bit like Beatrice Potter. The Very Helpful Hedgehog by Rosie Wesley. And this is a lovely little story of a hedgehog who meets a donkey and it's all about apples. I'm gonna be putting Room on the Broom out by Julia Donaldson, Axel Scheffler. And that's a nice one for Halloween. Squirrel's Autumn Search, this is a library book. I'll pop that out. And then I've got Autumn by Ali Busby. I really like this one. Apples and Pumpkins by Anne Rockwell. Our favourite, Autumn by Gerda Muller. Pippa and Pele um, and the Autumn Wind, we love those. Wild Child by Lynn Plaud. And Tree um, by Britta Trek and Tap. So I'm gonna pop these all out and I'll show you the insides of some of those as well. This is our new layout for our autumn books. We've got the poetry book still there. And there we go. And then on the bottom shelf, these are the ones I've got. I'm going to link last year's video on these books because I go in depth on all of them, what they look like inside, but I do have some new additions, so I'm gonna just quickly show you what they look like inside. This year, I have a few new books in our collection, and this is them. And I'll just show you inside them really quickly, and you can see whether they'd make a good addition to your book uh, shelves as well. So there's Apples and Pumpkins by Anne Rockwell. I'm gonna link all these below as well, so you don't need to remember the names of the authors. But this one's a really nice, chunky board book, and it's a little trip out to go apple, um, harvesting and they go get a pumpkin and carve the pumpkin so it's a really cute little story I really like this I like how chunky it is as well it's nice for a young toddler um, to hold and yeah we really like that lovely bright colors Pippa and Pele in the autumn garden I love the Pippa and Pele series it's so cute and this is um, no exception the autumn one it's Pippa and Pele going out looking at all the lovely seasonal things like hedgehogs and flying kites, mushroom picking, just really cute. I recommend this series so much. We also have the summer sun and the spring one as well, and I recommend them highly. Then there's this one, Autumn by Ali Busby, and I saw this a lot coming up in my recommended feed in Amazon, and I sort of overlooked it, thinking oh, it's probably not very good. I don't know why I thought that, because actually, this is really cute. The illustrations are lovely. Um, really lovely. Toby's just sitting. <laughs> Toby's just learning to sit, so he's sitting here with his little mushroom. But he keeps leaning forward. He wants to have a look at them too. Um, and they do things like baking, and they go get pumpkins. It's just really cute. So then we've got two paper back books. We've got Wild Child and Tree. Tree I got because Rupert's favourite book by far is B, 
um, which is the same in the series and he adores it. Uh, I think what's really nice about these is the rhyme. The story is very rhythmic and the cutouts are really engaging for a child. So there we go, I'll flick through it really quick. It goes actually through all the seasons. So it's one of those things that you could actually have um, all year round as well. So it's really good value. And then finally, this is a new one, Wild Child. And this is the story of Mother Earth going to sleep. And it's really lovely, beautifully illustrated and lovely. Um, a little story, a bit of repetition, very autumnal colours as well, which I really like. Um, and all about Earth going to sleep for winter. So yeah, and then again, there's more in that series as well if you're interested. There's a winter one, winter waits, spring sprung and summer's vacation. So really nice seasonal book. So they're the ones we got to add to our bookshelves. Really excited for Rupert to come back later. He's just popped out with his daddy. And when he comes back, he'll see all these new books. And since he's such, since he's such a bookworm, I think he's gonna be pretty happy.